10 years ago, I didn't know where we would be today, also because nobody knew what high five was going to be, nobody knew exactly how we were going to do it. So it has been a development process from the beginning. We asked companies, what are your problems? And they gave us their problems. And from day to day, we've been looking at solutions. And now 10 years later, we, we have found ways of working. We have found solutions. And actually, what we did has had an impact on youth. And it received the appreciation of companies, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice to see. Well, for me, graduation is a fantastic moment to see the impact it has on them. The preparation that they've been going through with the dances and the dressing up and basically I think all the stress that and all the things that they've experienced comes out during graduation where they're so incredibly proud of themselves. And I realize that most of them have never even experienced a graduation. And as much as I hate sitting at the high table protocol and doing my thing, Every graduation, I, I just, it's just amazing to see them being so happy what they have achieved in life, and it's cool. It's really nice. The first opening of the opportunity with the theme was circus, because the circus had come to town. Circus Africa Circus had come to town, so I thought it's a great theme. And also to warm people up, all the trainers showed their tricks. So I still remember myself with a spoon on my nose. And one of the nicest things was that after two weeks, one of the students asked me, like, um, Madame Kim, when is school going to start? And for me, that was, you know, because it's learning by doing games, learning by having fun. And so, yeah, learning can be fun. And I think that is one of the things that uh, a lot of students in Tanzania have not experienced. And it was nice to, to see that you know, they had fun. Well, this handsome man is uh, one of our first graduates and um, he came in very skinny and now he looks very healthy and his career has taken off. He's always worked as a waiter and managed to go from one company to the other, developing himself. And he, um, we asked him to be our model. So he's, uh, together with another graduate, we have uh, a male and a female model representing the opportunity. It, yeah, it, it, it has been a roller coaster with a very, very beautiful moments and very tough ones. And um, it, it always goes slower than, than I hope for. I always say like, we you know, go four steps forward and three back before you know it. But yeah, there, there have been some challenges we've had uh, a trainer trying to break down the opportunity by harassing staff members and students simply to take over. That was really, really tough. And it was actually uh, the trainers who told me, Kim, let's, let's continue. Mm -hmm. I was ready to pack up and leave. But the trainer said, no, you know, we have to stick, do this. And it, was, it wasn't me suffering the most. It was, it was just, it was tough. But they, they, they pulled me through. So it's been, it's been good and it has been interesting. Well, the High Five approach is a Western uh, concept. I mean, we're training youth in social skills, uh, that the skills that we have been taught in our Western culture. Uh, we're taking it here, and I've been struggling with that. Should we do that? We should value the African culture here. But since the youth are going to get jobs in hospitality industry, whereby customers expect Western hospitality, um, the companies expect employees to, to have that kind of mindset and the kind of work ethics that they need to serve their clients best. And I realized that a lot of what we're teaching is not just to serve the service industry, it is for developing their own lives. Um, which is just as much African as it is Western. So I've realized it, 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 it helps in their life. It's always a bit tricky. How do you call it? Is it soft skills? But is soft skills uh, versus hard skills? And then it gets such a soft connotation. Then people are talking about social skills. And nowadays people are talking uh, 21st century skills. And personally, I like 21st century skills. 
because it, it prepares you for the 21st century. And those are skills that everybody in the whole world uh, can use in their lives. It, it gives you a toolbox that you can pick from whenever you need support. So 21st century skills is the concept that I like. Yeah, I believe one and one is three. So if you put two minds together, you can create a third one. And we took our time to develop this, and now it's time to work with other partners also because I see other partners can boost our activities and the other way around. So yeah, we've been looking at uh, developing a youth center together with uh, so like-minded organizations. For example, we like to collaborate with a sports academy because we use sports for our high five training and they use high five for their sports uh, development training. And m we use music a lot and dance. So we're looking at finding like-minded partners to, to build a center where people can plug and play and where youth can come to get something that they can use in their lives. And maybe just a place to hang around and find people that uh, can be friends and help in life. When we started, we developed um, the methodology to serve vulnerable youth in Tanzania um, to get a job in Tanzania. But what we have developed can be used anywhere in Africa and beyond. We're even getting requests from the Netherlands because they see they can use it for Dutch youth. So I believe that um, this methodology, the whole approach that we developed can be adapted to any circumstance um, as long as people keep in mind where, where it serves them best. Um, so yeah, I see future for, for this methodology and we're very ready to share what we have developed. We've been looking at uh, ways of uh, partnering up with whoever believes that this can serve youth. Yeah, for the <laughs> past years we've been struggling, like how do you measure um, soft skills, social skills, 21st century skills, how do you measure uh, improvement and how do you measure whether it serves people and we have developed our indicators per finger and we have a high five tracking system which is uh, in a system that is not that user friendly we developed an app but it's not corresponding with the system so our new uh, direction is to see how we can bring all those systems together and develop a smooth running um, student tracking system and database because we're working with companies and working with partners. So this is an exciting uh, new thing that we're trying to implement. And on top of that, um, we think that e-learning could be useful. So we are looking at how can we incorporate e-learning to make the projects um, ef more effective, but also to reach more youth. Yeah, we, we have been working as a uh, non-governmental organization in that sense that we have not been affiliated with the government. But fortunately, the government um, approached us and said, well, five years ago, we didn't really see the need for soft skills in this country. What is soft skills and how can you use it? And, and now they say, yeah, well, actually, this is, this is what Tanzania needs. Um, so they have asked us to develop extracurricular programs for um, some training institutions that they have so this is very very exciting and I'm very happy because we have decided not to grow as an organization in the sense that we are going to train more people uh, we have excited uh, decided to go for partnerships and through our partners by training partners they can reach more youth and yeah we would love to work with the government and any other organization